Hi friends, today I have a new concept regarding fuel efficient engine design. So let us see the concept. So this is my concept. It is called as fuel efficient two stroke split engine with unit injector and turbocharger. So let us see I have the basic diagram. What I have did is a basic structure though designing engine is too complex. So this is a 2D diagram. So let us understand what are the things in this diagram. So as you can see this one is uh, turbocharger and this one is air intake side of turbocharger and this one is air exhaust side of turbocharger and th these are two pistons connected through a common crankshaft this one is engine oil and this one is engine compartment so what is this regarding split engine is i have uh, uh, divided the four stroke engine into two stroke engine two stroke two engines so this one is two stroke with higher compression ratio that is and this one is two stroke with lower compression ratio so in this side there will be suction and compression and in this side there will be ignition and exhaust so how this will work so air will get into the uh, turbocharger th from air intake manifold and then um, little bit of compressed air will be uh, means uh, uh, low volume of uh, air uh, low volume of uh, uh, compressed air will travel through this path and it will enter to this piston chamber through this uh, uh, valve so this is suction valve this is one way spring type suction valve and after getting into this piston chamber it will be compressed during operation it will be compressed and that highly compressed too hot and highly compressed air will uh, enter to the ignition chamber of the fast uh, com combustion uh, engine or fast lower compression ratio engine block so uh, this is one way discharge spring valves means air will enter through this path and again compressed air will enter to this chamber and here uh, due to high compressed air and hot compressed air uh, ignition when the fuel will be injected during this time it will be auto ignited the fuel will self detonate so this is the one third cycle of that piston and when at that time particular time the oil will be injected and by that the oil will bond and it will give us a better power uh, i am uh, using two stroke model because we know that two stroke is much more powerful and it will produce more torque than four stroke engine so in this split design i have splitted this two portion this one is suction and compression and this one is ignition and exhaust so uh, and this one is a small valve two valves uh, we can use many valves uh, more than two also uh, it is electronically or mechanically controlled exhaust valves if you will go for mechanically controlled exhaust valve then we need camshaft and other things but here for simplicity and for better fuel efficiency i i have demonstrated uh, electronically controlled uh, fuel valve uh, sorry exhaust valve uh, so this is the way how this engine will work uh, and uh, let us see uh, what are the benefits from this type of design so this engine will produce higher torque and more power due to less number of strokes as compared to four stroke engine second thing is lower maintenance cost as less number of frictional parts are used third one is compact in size as camshaft is not required generally but we can still use that one then fourth one is more power to weight ratio due to fewer parts and lightweight engine design uh, lightweight and robust uh, fifth one is energy efficient as no need to cool compressed air from turbochargers in most of the vehicles we need either screw type uh, turbocharger or any different type of turbocharger then we need to cool that uh, compressed air due to um, to reduce heat and get more volume of air but here that is also not required 
देन सिक्स वन इज फोएल एफिशियंट एज फोएल इज डायरेक्टली इंजेक्टेड बाई हाइड्रोलिकली एक्चुएटेड एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली कंट्रोल्ड यूनिट इंजेक्टर्स वी कैन ऑल्सो यूज कॉमन रेल सी आर डी आई कॉन्सेप्ट कॉमन रेल डिजल इंजेक्शन कॉन्सेप्ट और एनी अदर एडभांस टेक्नोलॉजी इलेक्ट्रॉनिकली इज कंट्रोल मीन्स इट इज इट विल गिव यू मोर बेटर मोर बेटर एक्यूरेसी एंड मोर बेटर प्रिसीजन फॉर फोएल सो वी कैन सेव मोर फोएल देन सेवेंथ वन इज A spark plug is not spark plug or glow plug is not required due to high compression ratio or suction and compress uh, and compression engine block. Uh, so spark plug or glow plug is not required because you it is uh, fuel is auto ignited or self detonated. So it may be called as false block because uh, in, in in this block it may be called as false block because here there is no ignition. and uh, due to very high temperature and pressure fuel will be self ignited into and into the low compression ratio so why i divided this into two uh, splitted this is uh, uh, here there is higher compression ratio because we are compressing uh, more amount of air uh, and that is why we require higher compression ratio engine but in this case we do require lower compression ratio engine because air is already compressed we we are getting air in already compressed form so you know, we no need to compress that same air again uh, then uh, due to very high temperature and pressure fuel will be self ignited inside low compression ratio engine block having ignition exhaust stroke it may be called it may be called as true block so this is this one is true block or this one is false block so we can call it as true and false split engine two stroke engine uh, then less pollution then eighth point is less pollution due to always lean burn of fuel and even better air to fuel mix ratio that is we all know the 14.7 is to 1 or that is stoichiometric ratio uh, then ninth point is exhaust gas recirculation system or egr is not required to maintain pollution and temperature inside true block then tenth is split in design to avoid energy loss during compression cycle in any four stroke engine so that is the main reason of this split design and then the 11th number point is sheer driving pleasure due to less noise and vibration with the aid of sensors like fuel sensor temperature sensor air flow air pressure air exhaust oxygen crankshaft sensor uh, then electrically controlled exhaust valve systems and we can also use some any other, many more valves and many more sensors and through electronically control unit and fully digital fully electronic unit units uh, that will manage the different rpm and different engine conditions uh, so we can use like fuel uh, temperature sensor fuel pressure sensor also i have not shown in this figure uh, that uh, fuel pump and other things so we need uh, sensors for those to get the exact pressure in fuel chamber uh, oh, sorry in fuel Uh, pump and also fuel uh, uh, injector line so we can adjust accordingly and get better fuel efficiency so this is a simple concept uh, i hope uh, you will like it so thanks for watching